So hi to all. So in pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry, there are five units. So now I am going to discuss about the fifth unit, radio pharmaceuticals. So in this in this lesson, we are going to discuss about the radioactivity, measurement of radioactivity, and next properties of alpha, beta, gamma radiations, and half life radio, half life. and radio isotopes and study of the radio isotopes so like uh, so sodium iodide 131 storage and its storage conditions precautions and pharmaceutical applications of radioactive substances so coming to the first topic definition of radioactivity so what is mean by radioactivity the phenomenon of the spontaneous emission of certain kind of invisible radiation by certain substances is called radioactivity so spontaneous means at a time the which emits the radiation invisible the uh, the radiation is in invisible we cannot see this radiation with our naked eye so it is called as invisible radiation by certain substances this phenomenon is called as radioactivity so which causes the emission the substances which emits the emission is known as radioactive substances so it was first discovered by the french scientist accidentally with um, accidentally she discovered it henry becquerel further modifications of oh, so she was died in the earlier stages due to emission of so this radioactivity radioactive substances very harmful so she died further modifications and observations were analyzed by the rutherford after her he observers further modified this radioactive substances to reduce the harmless and next coming to isotopes so what is mean by isotopes these are the atoms of same element having different atomic number so here oh sorry same atomic number hydrogen 1 1 1 and next but different mass here consisting of different masses those are called as isotopes next isobars isobars there are different elements like argon potassium calcium same mass number the consisting of 40 40 40 same mass and next different atomic number 18 19 20 so these are called as isobars different element same mass and number but different atomic number isotones different elements these are different elements argon and potassium same number of neutrons neutrons mean atoms consisting of protons plus neutrons here the neutrons neutrons are equal in both same neutrons but different number of total nucleons nucleons are different different so coming to the now coming to the properties of the x properties of alpha beta gamma rays so first properties what are the properties so nature what kind of nature they are charge mass charge and mass are first next what type of nature velocity and penetration power how they can penetrating means one of the object is there those edges can penetrate can means pass from one one to another ionization power Uh, how it has ionization means plus and minus you know the charges very well so water ionizes has a for example water ionizes a h plus and oh minus we know that so like that how what is that power ionization power next first coming to the for these all first coming to the alpha rays so charge each particle carry two units of positive charge in this each particle 
each particle consisting of two units of charge two units of positive charge here positive charge and next mass each particle has four amon unit amu four unit and next nature helium nuclear h2 New, each consisting of same as this much this much helium nuclear and next its velocity is 3 into 10 to the power 7 meters per second inverse 1 and next what is this pen its penetration power is small so penetration power means it can penetrate very less less next ionization power so quite opposite there are opposite ionization power is very high in this thorium becomes radium for this is an example plus helium this consisting of the helium ion helium nucleon so this is a reaction this is an example and next coming to beta rays each particle carry one unit of positive charge charge is for negative charge here negative charge here there is positive charge each particle has 10 5.5 10 to the power minus 4 amu and it consisting of electron has a nature electron has nature and next velocity its velocity is 2.97 10 to the power 8 meters second inverse 1 next its penetration power its penetration power is 100 times that of alpha rays its penetration is time is more than the more than 100 times of the beta rays they can go um, better than the alpha rays and next ionization power its ionization power is low so penetration power increases ionization power decreases they are quite opposite low and next coming to the gamma rays these rays are neutral so first alpha rays are positive beta rays are negative and next gamma rays are neutral the neutral means they consist no charge no charge in it the particle of these rays as negligible so there is no charge no mass also there and next they can it's nothing they are, mm, they are nothing and its velocity is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters meter seconds one and next this this penetration power is very large then thousand times of the alpha rays penetration power is very more when compared with the alpha rays and next ionization power is very poor so come express once go once see here so what i'm explaining till now properties of alpha beta rays the main properties are charge mass nature and velocity and penetration power and ionization power so compare with these three more penetration power is to gamma rays less penetration power to alpha rays and next i ionization power to alpha rays less ionization power to gamma rays